What's up everybody, welcome back to Surviving Mars. Just look at my population, we're close to 1000 now and we only need about 9% vegetation. That should also be possible um, during this episode here. I think it's going to be the last episode since we're pretty much complete soon. We do have a terraform Mars already, almost complete. When we go back now, have a look at Mars, look at that. It doesn't look like Mars anymore. It is perfectly green now. We do have some huge mountains here that are still red, which I think is a, quite a nice detail here to have. Other than that, it looks like Earth almost, just with another landmass here. And other than that, we have a beautiful huge capital city with the hanging gardens in the middle here. It took us quite some time to research that. And yeah, well, people use that quite a lot. As we can see, we have different layers here of gardens. That people can use and each layer provides something else i can see a path here uh, a few benches there a lake on top of it quite nice quite nice looking there in the capital city and we should be reaching about 1000 now perfect that we have 1000 colonists a new milestone um i think one of the last ones yeah it was the last one find water on mars well we didn't achieve that here quite because Look at that, where the water is. So I tried to research everything. This was deep scanned after quite a while, but no water around us. We were really unlucky with this. But other than that, I think we, well, still managed to do everything here that we wanted. And right, um, we do have two rockets here. I'm go going to send both of them now back to Earth because we also want to start with tourism now. Also something that's that we didn't do for quite some time here and I'm still also checking on the vegetation special project so we need two more of them and then we can have and then we have a fully transformed Mars just those two there right and what we also finished just now and I can see that because I got the achievement the achievement is not recorded the steam overlay but we finished also the excavator so another big monumental building here that is providing us with an infinite source of concrete from now on. We could upgrade this then for a lot of machine parts, um, producing a lot of, of, of concrete here, 50 per day, and of course also waste rock, which we need anyway, and a very good building. So if we go back here now, we have the Mohol here, provides an infinite source of metal and rare metal, um, and quite a lot of that as well, because it's fully upgraded, more than we will ever need again. And we also have now the excavator that we still could, could upgrade now to get higher there with more concrete. But for now, we definitely don't need more concrete here anyway. Well, this is quite nice looking, isn't it? Now, let's go back here to the capital city. We have lots of space here, as we can see. And I want to get some tourists up here now. So we do have, we have researched the tourist thing. We get the passenger colonists. I do have the filter for the, not the flaws, but I think the quirks. So quirk, tourist, and apply that filter. So all of them are now tourists, as we can see. The tourist doesn't work, grants 15 million funding on arrival, leaves that first opportunity after five souls. More tourists appear when tourists successfully return to Earth. Perfect, so we get the first 32 tourists coming in with this rocket here. Do we have another one? We do have another one. Let's get another 32 tourists to Mars. So two tourist mar uh, ro rockets are now on the way. The first tourists that we get, they can lift in here in the capital city. And I've also built two landing pens here just beside my capital city. And here we can then, you know, house those tourists. They can go around, enjoy a beautiful transformed Mars. Almost looking Earth-like, but of course, if we see into the distance, well, the mountains are still red even though they're getting green now as we can see everywhere it looks a bit strange because it happens gradually so not all at once um and it, i think it, it's going to take a few more souls here before everything is really finally green but what's surprising to me is i thought the trees and the bushes is something i only need to i can only get when i you know have the forest uh forestation plant there but nope look at the other side of the map we have bushes and grass here now appearing as well without my doing so that actually happens automatically as well. Something I was quite surprised to see. So this happens everywhere now. And I'm pretty sure after a few more dozen souls or so, we have a fully green transform planet. Perhaps that's possible. Right, the tourists are already arriving since we have also researched a, a shorter flight. So two rockets now with tourists on board coming down soon. 
just beside the lake, so a really nice position to land here on Mars. And here they come. And welcome tourists to Mars. They pay me quite some handsome sum there, hopefully. 32 of them for now. And they are going to stay here for five souls, I think. And yeah, they're going for the capital city, of course, right away. We have lots of space there. And I would be curious of what they're doing now. Looking for... Not looking for a job, okay. I was a bit worried there. They would take up jobs now. No, they're just going into my town here now. On Mars. They're not even looking around, I guess. They just want to go straight to their apartment. Cool thing. We have tourists now as well. And I don't see how much they pay us, but I think quite handsomely. Celebrities? Nope, it's not that. It doesn't show up here. Perhaps they haven't paid anything yet. Perhaps they pay something when they leave again. And of course, we're going to reload those rockets here that just got the tourists and they will leave then and bring some new tourists in again, hopefully. Really cool. I like that. I like that we have like a transportation of rockets now going back and forth. So we have two passenger rockets already back at Earth and we just, you know, the tourists automatically. We have lots of tourists here, 176 that actually want to come. So we can get another, well, 70 coming in now. And right, we will need to build a few more houses here though, or probably apartments where the tourists can live too. So a few more apartments here and we should also have probably some ornaments here in those round holes that we have here everywhere. Research. Research complete. And they are being built now. We need also some research. Let's have a look. We have researched almost everything. Let's go for those two things here. That's the tribal electric scrubbing. Emits, uh, emits pulses which reduce the dust accumulated on buildings and the art workshop vocation building that allows colonists to experiment with different forms of art and those are the last nope there's still another breakthrough that we also can research but all of them shouldn't take more than a day and that's it then then we've researched all the technologies another thing that we've researched is one of the monuments here that we have and that is the project Morpheus so with our improved understanding of the human brain we created Project Morpheus, the device used a combination of psycho psychosomatic triggers and suggestopedic methodology to stimulate the development of new perks and adult colonies. Oh, that's some heavy words there. And yeah, we're going to use that one here. So it improves um, my people in general and their perks. So I don't need to build it in a dome, but here just on the outside. So we're going to build this here close to the capital city. And yep, quite expensive, 300 electronics, 320 metal and 160 concrete, so electronics will be a bit close there, but we can afford it being built now and also going to take quite some time here. Hopefully we can finish this during this episode. Okay, I also have a new seed vegetation special project, very good. The rockets are already on their way with new passengers, new tourists on board. And also new apartments await them, so they can move into the capital city here right away. And, oh, playing service building is not fulfilled, so people, my people want to play a bit more. We could go for the electronic store, right? I think it is the... the no, playing, actually, that's the parks. Playing. So the pond and the small pond, the fountain.
it's those buildings here that we need to improve that. Okay, my rockets are here. So two more tourist rockets land now. We get $19 billion there, so quite a lot. I think we could import electronics perhaps or something like that. Perfect, and one of those rockets is going for the special project then right away. So more tourists, let's see if that goes up here. Tourists, oh, it appears now there. Now we have tourists and 765 million dollars that we get out of that. Just for those tourists here. New colonists have 32 new tourists from this rocket here and 32 from this rocket here. Right, Avril 2 is going on a special project. The seed. So that's another 5% vegetation. This one here being loaded now for that needs 100 seeds. We have enough of them, 5,200. And I just love, I could watch this endlessly, you know, when those rockets land and how busy everything is around them then. When they get new resources to the planet or when new resources are being loaded, everything is so busy when they land. Look at all those shuttles coming back and forth here. I love it. How they're being loaded now. We also have a second rocket here, Anvil 1. I don't think that we have another special project for seeds right now. That's the only one. Very good. And right, um, the project Morphia is still going to take quite a bit of time there. So piling up their electronics. The next research is going to be finished now. We got 15,000 research points per day at the moment. And right, the capital city is quite full here by now. Lots of people. And the plaything should be better now. So we have more parks here. Gambling might be something. Playing service buildings are full playing. 106 colonists would like to play. And 43 would like to shop. Well, let's do something about that. We do have the art workshop. That is something new. But that doesn't solve anything here. I think we need to go for those stores here. So when they want to go shopping or gambling. I think we'll need to do something about that. Right, that's still going to take quite some time here. And another rocket. This one here is ready to launch for Earth again. But I think I'm going to leave it here for now. Since there could be... Another special project coming up, and I want to do that right away. And we still have another toxic pool here, and the commander is already right around it. So let's unload the drones, and they're going now to clear this toxic pool here. I got quite a lot of them on Mars. Scattered all over the place, those toxic pools. Got a few here. So without uh, with them being here, um, I'm having a problem of expanding my vegetation where's my second commander there he is so we can bring this commander over to that toxic pool he can clear it up then and the same goes for that one up here oh it's already finished perfect let's load the drones into the commander again and get him to the next pool is there an automatic process for that no so we we have we have to do it ourselves. But just need to find those toxic pools then and send my commander there. There is another one. And right, there is no achievement for that. I'm a bit I'm sad because of that, but well, we've researched all the technologies now and we can only go for the Martian copyrights here giving us funds, you know, we can endlessly research that now. We could also outsource. Oh, we can outsource actually 5,000 research points for a billion, for example. So we don't need to do that ourselves anymore. We can just do it like that. And we just outsource a bit more here for some money. So our research force that we are outsourcing there to someone else. Oh, yeah, the capital city is full. I did not expect that so soon. Okay, this one's almost full now. Going for the special project. Should be 
the last piece of seed coming in here. And this one here, yeah, we're still waiting with him. With that rocket there a bit. And off it goes. And I like that naturally we have a, we have some trees here, you know, waiting for that. And those are my tourists, I guess, running around here. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, and Project Morpheus is also finished. We just need to plug it in. Let's plug in Project Morpheus. That's it. And this one also is now active, so... Traits given lifetime, so it gives new traits now to my colonists with a combination of psychosomatic triggers and suggestopedic methodology. You know, you know the thing. The last wonder I think that was. So we have now all the wonders except the geoscope dome, so we could still do that, but I don't see little reason for that. And right, terraforming is also done now pretty much. We have this rocket on the seed vegetation project. So we just have to wait a bit for another project to come up. And another thing that I came up with is the mystery log. So thanks to one of you in the comments, of course, um, I had to do, uh, had to look into my mystery log here. So on Soul 205, we have discovered a way to train our newborn in the schools to become dreamers. So we need to teach our children to be dreamers, you know, and then they... Um, can do something with that mystery that is happening here all the time. Only when they're dreamers they can enter that dream kind of that is happening here all the time, those violet lights. And all my schools are now also training my kids to be a dreamer. So instead of the rugged, I think, or the survivor. Yeah, survivor, because that is not, not a problem anymore. Loses less health without food, water, oxygen. Those things don't happen anymore. So all my, all my schools are now getting dreamers out there. And hopefully we can also find out something about the mystery of the dreamers in that regard and for now we just wait now for the next uh, vegetation so this one's already on its way now at 47 percent then we go to 96 uh, percent and then we need one more project and then we are totally completed with the terraforming process so let's wait it out a bit shall we and after waiting quite some time well the last rocket sirocco 6 is Almost close to finishing the seed vegetation special project once more. And that will then push us to 100% with the vegetation. Then we have a fully terraformed Mars. At least according to the parameters. Of course, you know, Mars still looks more red than green. We do have green patches everywhere. But I still see a lot of red there. So it's a lot of time um, to do that. The door to summer. There's also something. Do you want to live forever? Apparently the clients, clients of Eternal Summer, a large cryonics company, intend to do so. Fearing that Earth could be destroyed by a cataclysm, the 10 richest customers of Eternal Summer have paid for rocket to host their uh, cryopods. It has launched towards Mars, where they are relying on your colony to resupply the Cosmic Arc. The Eternal Summer Rocket will regularly ask for permission to land. If you resupply it, you will receive immediately 150 million upon its launch. Well, of course, let's do that. So uh, from time to time we get a rocket, but we get like three, four, five uh, landing pads that we can use, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And oh, it's already coming, traveling to Mars. And Earthsea colonists, these are tourists, as we can see. So I don't know why it says Earthsea colonists. They are just ready to depart. That's it. And perfect. 98%. We are coming in now on the last project that we need to finish. After dozens and dozens of projects, we finally finish the terraforming process 100%. And, oh, it's even saving for that now, it seems. Perfect, and that's it. We have Creator of Worlds achievement. We have completely be uh, terraformed Mars, and we have also re reached now the next milestone here with 100% vegetation terraforming. After 338 days, Mars has been completely terraformed at 100%. It's a perfectly livable planet now. And well, we're also at 1,400 people by now. Well, a lot of tourists, of course getting them some money but we're pretty much done we've also researched everything here looking at that there's no research open anymore only the repeatable ones for money so those two i've even received the achievement for that now as well and that's it that's the playthrough of green planet that's how it works 
Mars looks like this at the end. We still have some repeatable projects now, but we finished all the milestones that we need. We also finished all the missions and we terraformed the planet. And oh, even those, the mountains here that were red before are green now. So there's not a single red spot anymore anywhere. Nope, it's completely terraformed. Overall terraforming progress is 100%. And with that, I hope... You enjoyed watching this let's play. It was my first one of Surviving Mars. There's going to be a season 2 at some point. Right now, I'm just going to enjoy my, well, rather chaotic looking colony. But functional, totally functional, working and efficient. And beautiful as well to some extent. That's it from my point of view. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you also enjoyed my other videos. Have a look at my channel if you're interested in more. Let's please, and with that in mind, have a nice day, goodbye, and cheers!